It is the perception of ourselves that determines our willpower. This is a big takeaway for me during this reread of Indistractable. This is part two in the series of taking control of your focus via the chosen book of the month. Today's video is gonna be short and sweet. We're gonna keep it under five minutes and touch on two major takeaways that were big, I'll let aha moments for me during this re, uh, to this recent reread. One is directly linked to the science of play. And the other is this concept of ego depletion, that it is not real. And that was the comment that I made to open the video up today. We're gonna start with the science of play. I'm gonna keep this under five minutes for you and give you the takeaways that really touched home for me as I was going through this with a beginner's mindset. Beginner's mindset is important. It's an important place to start with this because it really touches home on this concept of being a kid again. And this is connected directly to play because we let ourselves, we gave ourselves permission as kids to play. But mastering internal triggers things that are inside of us that distract us, we can actually use play to do that. And that was interesting because fun and play can actually help us focus. And this reminder for me was so poignant. So much of what we do with Chosen is get people into this state of flow, doing an activity just for the sake of doing it. All of your physiology is there to support it. But the big takeaway for me is deciding to be deliberate when doing a task and looking for the novelty in the task. And that's what I want you to take away from this science of play part. An indistractable the big thing here around play is that you have to look hard. You have to look hard for the variability in those tasks that you don't want to do. You got to look hard for that variability to make it fun. It doesn't have to be pleasurable, but it still can be playful. Big takeaway for me. For the last two minutes, we're going to talk through this midsection of the book. The book can be read in about five hours total if you're a slow reader. It's amazing. Is it short? It's impactful. Some people might even say it's simple, but simple can also be difficult to implement. So science of play eventually boils down to look hard for variability so you can make even these tasks you don't want to do fun and playful. Variability will help you get to that place of playfulness and focus. The other side of this that was a big takeaway for me in the next minute is this concept of ego depletion. Ego depletion is like you're at the, at the end of your day and you just, you just spent. And you can have some ice cream, you can watch some Netflix, you might have a beer, you're gonna pass out. That doesn't sound like a very good evening routine to get that amazing night's sleep, but you know, you're depleted. You got no willpower for that evening routine. Basically, the big thing that he introduced here through multiple pieces of research was that people who do not see willpower as a finite resource do not show signs of ego depletion. And what I'm gonna leave you with in the last 30 seconds is a challenge. It is the perception of ourselves that determines our willpower. Those were the big takeaways for me during this reread of Indistractable. The closing summary is coming next week. And I want to thank you for being here for these two takeaways, playfulness, science of play, and this concept that ego depletion is not real. It is the perception of ourselves 
that determines our willpower. John Stanton, signing off. Till next time.